Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to Second PUC Statistics Online Classes. In the previous class, we had discussed about how to construct NP chart. In this class, we are going to discuss how to construct C chart in standard known case. Let's see the problem number 8. That is, the following data relates to the number of knitting defects in a unit length of cloth manufactured by a textile mill. For sub question, construct control chart with lambda dash is equal to 3. And the second sub question is, is the process under control? See, here some observations are given that is sample number and number of defects. Okay, these observations are given in, given in the question. And see, this is <coughs> number of knitting defects. So, defects in the sense what? That is C chart. Like that, see the given observation that is sample number and number of defects. So, number of defects in the sense what? That is C chart. So, this problem is based on C chart. Okay, next, see the first sub question that is construct control chart with the lambda dash is equal to 3. So, lambda dash is equal to 3 in the sense what that is standards given case or standards are known case. So, this is C chart in standards given case or standards known case. Okay, here given observation that is lambda dash is equal to Okay, now I will write control limits of C chart. We know that there are three control limits are there. First one is central line, another one is lower control limit, another one is upper control limit. So, to calculate central line of C chart in standards known case, the formula is lambda dash only. See here lambda dash is given already. So, that is given in the question. So, I will write central line is 3. Okay, next, to calculate lower control limit, See, uh, uh, to calculate lower control limit of C chart in standards known case, the formula is lambda dash <coughs> minus 3 into square root of lambda dash. So, here lambda dash we already found. So, that is given in the question. So, lambda dash value is 3, 3 minus, sorry, yeah, lambda dash is 3. So, 3 minus, so 3 into square root of lambda dash. Lambda dash is 3 only. So, this is equal to first I will solve this one that is 3 into square root of 3 that is 5.196 so that is 3 minus 5.196 is minus 2.196 see this is negative value so this value taken as 0 because number of defects cannot be negative. Therefore, this minus value, negative value equal, considered as 0 only. Okay. Next, to calculate upper control limit of C chart, in standard known case, the formula is lambda dash plus 3 into square root of lambda dash. So, this is equal to lambda dash. Lambda dash value is 3 minus, sorry, plus 3 into square root of lambda dash. So, lambda dash value is 3. So, square root of 3. So, this is equal to 3 plus. So, 3 into square root of 3 is 5.196 and this is equal to 3 plus 5.196 is 8.196. These are the control limits of C chart in Sanders known case. Okay, now let's see the, uh, let's Let's see the second sub question that is, is the process control, yeah, is the process under control. So, to check process under control, we have to construct C chart. So, C chart is like this. See, this is x axis. 
So here x axis along with sample number. And this is y axis here y axis along with the number of defects. And see in x axis uh, uh, this is number of sample number. See sample numbers are like this. Therefore, I will take the scale here 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. So, this origin is 0. Next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And see here y axis along with number of defects. So, number of defect observations are like this. Therefore, uh, here I will take once I, here I will take scale for y axis that is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit that is like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay, I will stop here. Next see the control limits here. So the first one that is center line is 3. So 3 is here. Here I will draw one horizontal line like this. This is central line. Next lower control limit. See lower control limit is 0. So here origin is 0. So lower control limit here y axis itself as lower control limit because here origin is 0 right. Therefore lower control limit itself x axis itself. Next here upper control limit. Upper control limit value is 8.196. See here 8.19 comes here. So, this here I will draw one horizontal line like this. This is upper control limit. Okay. Next. Now, I will plot these points on this graph. See the first sample number 1. So, sample number. So, sample number is 1. So, here this is here y x axis along with sample number, right? So, now sample number is 1 is here. So, that corresponding number of defect is 4. So, this corresponding number of defect is 4 that comes here. So, here I will put one mark like this. Next sample number 2. So, 2 is here that corresponding number of defect is 5. So, 5 is here that corresponding place is here. So, here I will put one mark like this. Next sample number 3. See 3 is here that corresponding number of defects is 6. So, 6 is here that place is here. So, here I will put one mark like this. Next number sample number is 4. So, 4 is here that number of defects 6 is here. So, here I will put one mark like this. Next 5 and 3. So, 5 is here, 3 is here that corresponding place is here. Next 6 and 2. See 6 is here, 2 is here that corresponding place is here. Next 7 and 6. 7 is here, 6 is here. Next 8 and 7. 8 is here, 7 is here. Next 9 and 3. See 9 is here, 3 is here. Last one that is 10 and 4. So, sample number 10 is here, number of defect 4 is here, that corresponding place is here. So, here I will put one mark. Okay, next, I will uh, join these points with the straight line like this. See, here all the sample points inside the control limit. See, this is upper control limit and this is lower control limit and here sample points are inside the control limits therefore production process under control therefore the conclusion is here conclusion is very important conclusion is in the above graph or in the above this is c chart right so right here c chart so in the above c chart all the points lie inside the control chart therefore production process under control
Okay, this is all about C chart in standards given case. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.